Hey guys, Vlogging here. I'm gonna show you how to. I'm gonna quickly show you how to make the bow in your hair. And I'm also gonna give you a few tips on if your hair is like mine, what you can do to help with it. So, before anything, you wanna definitely brush out your hair. Um, the reason that mine's parted is, is because that's how it naturally is. But I'll show you later. But right now, the bottom of my hair is like super poofy. I don't know if it shows up well. And my little trick is to take body lotion and just a tiny bit, like that much, not a lot, and just rub that in the bottom of your hair and it'll help with all the frizzy poofiness that it does because it pretty much, the bottom of your hair doesn't make oil as much as the top and that's why the top of your hair usually is very like... You know very soft and smooth a lot of the time and the bottom of my hair gets poofy is because it doesn't make enough oils and so adding in the lotion will give it that oil that it needs so and then just brush that out okay and then you're gonna want to start um if you have glasses you may want to take them off um but so you want to start by taking your hair and pulling it back Whoa. I know that sounds really weird, Ugh. but my hair gets super tingly all the time, so that's life. I don't necessarily have yet to find anything to help with tangle, but that's me. <laughs> so, yeah, and then you just want to pull it into a high ponytail, so I'll be right back and pulling it into a high ponytail. I like to flip my hair forward and then just kind of smooth out the back. If you guys have any tips on less tangles in your hair or how to do that, tell me. I can definitely use it. So then once you get it to the height that you want it, just pull it into a ponytail, but don't finish the ponytail how you normally will. You just want to start off, because my hair is quite thick, I don't know about your guys, you may have to do more, but on the last like loop you just want to take your hair and you want to pull it into like a half bun kind of thing so you got all that extra hair and then you just want to take that and stick your thumbs in the sides split it in half like so there and then let me check this there's a mirror behind this camera so yeah, I can see what I'm doing. And so once you have it like that, it kind of looks... You can start to see the bow forming, but not quite. But what I like to do is take the rest of the hair and then twist it, like, majorly. And then just flip it over the top and around both sides all the way. And then you just want to take a bunch of bobby pins, like so and then just kind of slip that in your hair until you think that's like sturdy and like sealed in kind of thing. I tend to have to do this so I can pin it all the way but yeah there and then you just want to take it and poof it out on the sides and then I like to just take some more bobby pins and pin those up, down so you got that nice poof and then to check 100% I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can see better but then yeah there's a little bit more pinning I need to do. So. And then, I don't know. Oh, trying to get bobby pins. <laughs> so. And then to make sure that this doesn't start turning because that is the side that I did kind of do it on. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it by the base. I'm going to pin it forward, like more forward, just to give it that extra oomph so it won't just kind of fall. And then just kind of keep poof up the sides, make that nice and awesome. And then just kind of spray in your hairspray. I don't have a specific brand, it's just what I use. And then there you go, all done. Okay. Um, I hope uh, that was easy enough, because I know some of you were saying all you could find is really hard ones. Shout out to you. Um, but yeah, it's actually kind of easy. So yeah, you just um, practice makes perfect.